设施，请勿触碰车内红色标记的安全设施，以免影响列车运行。<laughs> yeah. Hey, hello and welcome to BJ Vlogs. Uh, it's been a pleasure coming your way. And so today I'm at the Wuhan railway station. If you have watched one of my videos before, you realize I did a video at the slow train, like taking a slow train here in China. There's a black boy taking slow train. And today I'm at the railway, uh, Wuhan rail. Yeah, so I'm at the Wuhan railway station, and this is the fast, like where fast trains are paid. So I decided to go to Shanghai. And I wanted to pick a fast train for you to know how. So now I just had to enter. I should be frank. It's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. Just like a big airport. Even in some countries, it's very, very beautiful. So what you have to do is that you have to enter and you check in. When you check in, um, they are going to take your passport. And then they, after you are checked in with your luggage, you have to now check for the entrance to you. So I used A1 to A8. And when I got in there, to my surprise, so many people. And the truth about it is that Chinese people love to travel. Like, they really love to travel. And this was on a holiday, so you should expect that uh, it was not going to be actually easy. And, you know, when you have a lot of people going to um, uh, board on the same train, you know that it's going to be difficult. I had to walk quite a distance and look for my boarding gate because if you take the wrong gate maybe before you realize you'll be in Beijing but I was going to Shanghai with my friends of course we were going for a conference and so we had to walk 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 for over 20 minutes before we could find our gate that's what I'm saying it's a very big place so we found our gate and now we're told to go because the train was in we are ready to board and you can see the train right there the speed trains so we're ready to go and then get our train but you also have to walk quite a distance to look for the train so you see this is how the speed train looks like the bullet trains that everybody's talking about in china and so we're just ready to go now we're checked in and everything was okay we entered into the train and we're supposed to now look for our seat i understand this is quite different to that of the european one because this one is just the second class not the first class but I understand in Europe, this one looks like the business class because it has to, like, uh, this one is just like a one-seater way kind of thing. But in Europe, the normal class, you have to sit facing each other. So this one was the normal one. We found our seat. So we had to, but we, we, I think we're five or six. So we needed to uh, sit together. Now we found our places. We had to put our baggages. Uh, yes <laughs> on the shelf and have a very comfortable space and also be able to talk to ourselves but the, actually it's quite spacious it's quite spacious and uh, we really enjoy so you see that they are neatly dressed going through and then they come to sell food and all of that for you too but it's expensive because i bought popcorn for 20 renminbi where it's so expensive so before i realized we had already set off and I was like, is this the speed train they are talking about? Because I didn't feel the speed. But later on, trust you me, oh my God, the speed was so awesome compared to the slow train. Because the slow train, you can check out for my video of the slow train. Ah, buha, buha. Not so interesting at all. Very slow, very slow. But this one was very speed. Uh, so that's why the speed train is expensive. So please, anytime you're in China, feel free to try this. It's so awesome, beautiful, neat and everything so so please i have to take some pictures you know and so please say bj vlogs if today's a first time don't forget to subscribe share for others to know what we do here check out my scholarship content also and let's get this channel growing thank you and bye bye